guys, I've been asking me to do some celebrity inspired hairstyles and today I am going to do a character actually. This is from the show Vikings and I've only actually watched the show once or twice so I'm not really sure how to say her name. I think her name is Lagertha and I really love her braids. I think they're really cool. I'm going to give it a go. This is my first attempt at this hairstyle. Well, to start off, I'm going to use a deep waver to get some texture in my hair but if you don't like using heat on your hair, you could always just plait your hair and sleep on them overnight to get some lovely waves. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And this is what my hair looks like. Now I'm going to section off a large section on top of my head and I'm just going to tie this out of the way for the moment and then I'm going to section off a little side section and I'm just going to pin the top section out of the way for the moment as well. Next I'm going to spray some water on the bottom section to make it easier to braid and then I'm going to divide a little section into three even pieces and I'm going to do a cornrow. So to do a cornrow you want to grab the top strand with your pointer finger and the bottom strand with your pointer finger and bring them under to the middle. Again, grab the top strand, add a little bit of hair to this and bring it under to the middle and with your pointer finger grab the bottom strand and add some hair to this and bring it under to the middle. Again, with your pointer finger grab the top strand and add some hair to it and bring it under to the middle and with your pointer finger grab the bottom strand, add some hair to it and bring it under to the middle. And we're just going to repeat these steps until we reach our ear. Once you're happy with your braid then just go ahead and braid down and tie your braid off and we're going to repeat these steps on the top section. When you're happy how your braid looks just go ahead and finish your braid off and then we're just going to repeat these steps on the opposite side of our head. Gerta has lots of snake braids so you're going to take your elastic out and move the two outer strands to one side and you're just going to hold the middle strand of the braid and then you're going to push your two outer strands up to create this snake braid. Then when you've pushed the braid up to the top of your head, you're going to just gently unwind it and then you're just going to tie it off or you can back on the ends and I'm going to repeat these steps with all my other braids. So again, you're going to hold your middle strand and move the two outer strands to one side and push them up and then unwind the braid again and here I'm back combing the ends because my braid's not that thick. I'm going to repeat the steps on the opposite side. Now with the remaining hair which I've tied out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and back comb that to get a bit of volume and then we're going to do a lace braid. For a lace braid you're going to divide your hair into three even pieces and we're just going to cross the outer strands over the middle strand. Then you're going to add a section of hair to the outer strand from along the hairline and cross this over to the middle and you're not going to add any hair to the opposite side, just cross it over to the middle. Again, add a small section of hair to the strand closest to your face and cross this over to the middle and we're not going to add any hair to the outer strand, just cross this over to the middle. So once more, add a section of hair to your outer strand, cross it over to the middle and don't add any hair to the opposite side, just cross it over to the middle. And then when you've added in all the hair, just go ahead and braid down and then we are going to do a snake braid again. And to create my snake braid I'm just going to move my two outer strands to one side and hold my middle strand and then I'm going to push my braid up to create my snake braid and then I'm going to slide it back down and back comb it and then I'm just going to wrap it around one of my snake little snake braids and I'm going to just use some hair rings to accessorize. 
finally to finish my laggature style off, I just went ahead and fluffed my hair to get some big hair and I just black combed behind my braid and here is my finished style. my Lagertha inspired hairstyle. I don't know if I'm saying that right so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I hope you like it. If you have any tutorial requests don't forget to leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys and have a great day.